guys, what's up? It's me again, Benny Weiler, and today we're talking GoPro Hero 10. So we're talking about all the specs, all the rumors, and when the GoPro Hero 10 will be released. But first of all, let's rewind a little bit. Because we're starting 10 years back from now. It's 2009, 2010 and the GoPro Hero 1 started to be the one and only action camera in the adventurous world of all the extreme sport companies. And then the adventure kept running. <laughs> myself own the uh, GoPro Hero 4 and the GoPro Hero 7 which is this thing here right now but let's be honest with GoPro on a filmmaker's perspective there was always a little bit of an issue there was this issue with low light capabilities there was this battery life issue I mean this one when I like fill it up completely with power Sometimes it feels the battery died before I just start recording or it starts recording on its own and it sits on my table and records the edge of my I don't know, computer for like for an hour and then it's empty again. So it is a pretty annoying toy. But on the other hand, it's the one and only go-to toy or camera when it comes to going in the water, going on an extreme sport adventure, going like for wake, wake surfing, wakeboarding. And then this is almost the only company I would recommend. Yes, we all know there is this Insta360 right now, but yeah, we're talking about the new GoPro because with the GoPro Hero 9, I'm honest, I thought to myself, hey, maybe it's time for an upgrade because this actually looked really sick. We all have seen the GoPro Hero 9 trailer, this stabilizer stuff, and it's going to be better. Because out of the new GoPro Hero 10 rumor and stats perspective, it's going to be a really interesting camera. So first of all, we're talking about the look. There are rumors which says that there are major changes in the look and maybe a detachable screen, which is pretty amazing because that means we've got like a, I don't know, flip screen or I don't know in which direction you could flip it, side down, whatever. But we as a vlogger, we need those kind of stuff because to see yourself on this little tiny screen in the front is yeah, it's cool, but it's better than nothing. But to have a proper LCD, this would be pretty amazing. Next of all, we're talking about the resolution. And the resolution is aiming higher, even higher than the 9, because we're talking 5K in 60 frames per second and 4K in 120 frames per second. Then we're getting also a few more lens mods, which means you can like click this off and put more lenses on it maybe there's going to be a vlogging lens maybe there's going to be i don't know a telephoto lens probably not but i don't know maybe they surprise us with something really crazy special then there is another cool feature which is probably coming which is wireless charging and that's pretty cool because i mean honestly most of the time you're like plugging it in anyway but if you've got this like this wireless charging station and you can just like play it here and it's charging it's a pretty cool feature but just if it's 
fast enough. If it's like this really slow charging thing, then I would plug it in anyways. So and then there is this one thing in the rumors. I don't know if it's true, but this is probably the most exciting and the most important thing for you and for me and for all of us guys, because we're talking about better low light capabilities. I don't know what's built in the new GoPro, but I think there is something in it which is going to detect like the environment, the lights, and it's probably something like an automatic um, ISO, but with less noise and overall better low light capabilities. And that's the only thing I think most of us are not so happy with the chance to use it as a vlogging camera. And with this new feature, which is then going to give us better low light capabilities, this is going to be a proper vlogging setup. You can attach from the 9 on, I think you can detach like microphone um, and different other stuff with a tripod and all those kind of things anyways. But now if you've got a better low light capabilities, if you've got your external mic on it, you can use it as a proper pretty insane vlogging setup then. Another thing which is really exciting is the Hero Black app, which is now given us probably a lock feature. I don't know if it's an S-Lock or any other like GoPro-ish lock feature, but we are able now to color grade it in a little bit easier way because we all know this GoPro footage, it's not the easiest to color grade, but now you've got the chance to film in lock which gives you automatically like better dynamic range and overall a better like experience if you are using this for more than just going out and shooting while you're like diving out of a like 20 meter high cliff or something like that. Then we're talking about the safetyness of the camera because we are getting it in a new color or a new color scheme because it is, I don't know how you pronounce this word right, but it's fluorescent color. So if you are losing your GoPro and you're searching for it, you can see it way better, which means you are probably way happier because you can find it if you lost it. Yeah. And now last but not least, we're talking about the price. And with the price, it's probably like it is most of the time when a GoPro announces a new uh, product, a new GoPro, it's around $600. So that means in Euro, I think it's almost the same. I, I've got this feeling that we here in Europe are a little bit more expensive. So probably like 500 to 600 Euro. And if you're attaching an external mic, like an Rode Video Micro, and a tripod then you are probably like on eight maybe if you're like going the high end thousand bucks yeah guys let me know in the comments below if you would buy it as a vlogging setup or if you would buy it anyways to do your sports stuff extreme behind the scenes stuff or if you would more likely buy an i don't know sony 7C, which is a little bit more expensive, or a Sony uh, A6400 or a Canon EOS RP, which is yeah, a little bit more expensive, but would you more likely buy a proper normal camera if you want to vlog or would you buy the GoPro also as a vlogging setup? It really interests me, so yeah, let me know in the comments below. I think I'm going to invest from the 7 to the 10 because what GoPro brings up right now, it's, it's, it's pretty dope. And yeah, as always, leave a like if you liked this video. If not, then yeah, write me in the comments what you didn't like. And it really helps me, it helps the algorithm. So drop a comment down below, leave a like. And if you haven't already, then hit the subscribe button and I see you next time. Bye guys. I don't know if I actually can do this, but oh, I have to be a little bit more consistent with my videos. I'm getting out of practice, but let's do this.
was a complete fail. <laughs> There's not even my my cat here to do a proper outro. Yeah. Anyways, we can do this ASMR outro thing. Hey guys, would you buy the GoPro or Hero 10? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. You are amazing. Goodbye.